Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Hello if you're new here, I'd love for you to subscribe if you're not already. It's completely free, entirely up to you, but it just means you get a notification whenever I upload a video and then you can choose whether it's one that you want to watch or not. So it would mean the world if you would subscribe to me because I am trying to get that number to grow slightly so that I can continue making these videos. Today's video is slightly different. It's very, very rare that I actually show you like my grocery type haul. Um, but it was quite a cheap one today, so I thought I would run through it with you. So we went to Lidl and I'm also gonna throw in a few little bits that I picked up in Home Bargains too, just because there's not enough to make it into a full haul. Um, so yeah, let's get into today's video. Right, so just talking you through our meal plan, if you wonder why I keep looking down, I've got a little Nelly Nelly. Bring this one back in. There you go. Um, yeah, so I've just got her next to me, so you might hear noises on me looking down, etc. That is why. So, we are doing meals for today, Wednesday and Thursday, because we're going down south for the weekend. Um, so it's not too much of a food shop, but I just thought I would show you typically what we get. Um, if it was a Friday and we were here, we normally have pizza night. Um, Saturday, it's usually either a takeaway or a fry up, one or the other. A little bit of unhealthiness. And then Sunday is a roast of some sort, usually as well. So that kind of gives you an idea of what extra bits we would need. Um, today is Tuesday. Yesterday I did a sausage roast, literally just some cheap sausages, veg, a little bit of stuffing, roast potatoes, Yorkshire pudding gravy, and it was delicious. I wish I'd filmed it to be honest with you. Um, you smiling at me? You smiling at me? Yeah, so this week we are having, today we're having gyros, pita and chips. I picked up from Lidl's probably about a month ago, two months ago, something like that. Um, the gyros rice mix. So I'm going to use that. I've also already got some pitters in the cupboards and I'm just going to send Ash up to the kebab shop because the lady there does the most amazing tasty chips. So I'm just going to have those and then probably put some paprika on it. Tomorrow is cottage pie and then Thursday is barbecue chicken strips with mash and beans. Um, and to be honest, I pretty much had all of the ingredients. I'm trying to shop at my cupboards a little bit more because everything is so expensive um so i bulk buy my meats when i can um and yeah stick it in the freezer and then just try and shop the cupboards and the freezer as much as i can when i'm making my meal plan i normally do a meal plan for a month but we're a bit here there and everywhere at the minute so i've only done this week as of yet but anyway on to the shopping bills so, if I put you in, apologies if you can hear the boiler, there's nothing I can do about that because Ashes are going to have a shower. Um, so, in Lidl, I spent a grand total of £34.68p, and in Home Bargains, I spent a total of £18.48p, so not too bad. Now it's time to show you what I got, I guess. So, yeah, as you can see, I did get quite a bit for my money. Nelly's just playing with her toys. Um, so first thing is of course the essentials. We have got the nappies. She's currently in size two. But I don't think she's going to be in it for all that much longer. Um, so I've only got the one pack of those. Normally I buy two or three but I'm going to hold off for a little bit and use up what we've got. Ash got himself their version of strawberry and lime ciders they're like the um copper bag you know cheapy versions although they're not actually that much cheaper and then i tried this one when we were on holiday recently um this vodka mango and passion fruit twist which was delicious and so i picked up one of those and then they also had a vodka raspberry crush so i thought i would give that one a try and see what that's like there are a few bits in here for the caravan because we picked that up this weekend as I'm filming this. And this is one of them, just one of those like little gel air freshener things. Because I'm sure it will probably smell musty. 
Then I picked up a pack of the basmati rice. I really wish I had the storage space for the bigger bag because, yeah, buying these smaller ones just doesn't work out very cost effective. I also picked up a bag of sugar as well. Then Ash picked up, he likes his energy drinks, so he picked up these like Lidl's, I think they're Lidl's owned one. Um, yeah, that energy drink. And that one as well. I don't know what the difference is, to be fair. Zero sugar, sugar free. Fair enough. Then I picked up their equivalent of Pringles. These are really nice. They are a bit thicker um, than your actual Pringles, but they are still really tasty. So I picked those up for a little snack. And then big bag of potatoes this will literally last us a couple of weeks i would have thought anyway so they'll last a bag of frozen mixed veg i'm all for you fresh if you can but this works just as well for us and then they had a few last little bits of the greek week left um, and we really like these pastry swells with leek and cheese filling so we were able to pick that up i wanted two packets but they only have one left so that's all it had to be and then for tonight's tea, like I say, we're having the Greek pitters. Um, Ash isn't a fan of tzatziki, which is what I picked up. Um, so he's got coleslaw instead, and then I'll probably just finish that off with him with other meals at some point. These are literally like one of my favourite desserts. They're so, so tasty. Um, so I picked up a pack of those. My favourite flora butter um this is the lighter one and yeah it's just really nice and the calories aren't too bad either then ash picked up for like little work bit snacks for his lunchbox um these roasted chicken bites and the southern style chicken bites he actually got two of those and then they're like salami ones which again are still really expensive but you know you've got to treat yourself to something then he picked up their version of Coke. So he's got a bottle of that. And he eats these like nobody's business as little snacks. So we've always got to make sure we've got some of those in. And they're slowly creeping up in price as well. Um, these are my little treat. <laughs> because I like to have these every morning. Especially if Nelly's having a whingy morning. Because it just means I actually have something. I well, know it's only small but I feel like I'm doing my bit. Then we've just got their basic white loaf of bread. I'm not fussy on bread, as long as it doesn't have that like nail varnishy smell that some do. And then the final item from there was a couple of jam filled donuts from their bakery, one of which was free because I had a voucher via their app. On to home bargains, I picked up the Vanish, Vanish Oxy Action. I normally get the like slightly bigger pot, but they didn't have it. So that is all I've been able to get. And Ash picked up again for his lunches. He's got several of these, but he wanted to try this flavour. The mug shots, which he puts in like a little thermos flask and takes them for lunch. Summer is hopefully around the corner. I say this as I film. It is raining. Um, but this is a little cheap clip-on stroller fan. I'm hoping it will clip somewhere onto my push -tick. It shows it as like clipping on the shade bit, so I'm fingers crossed that will work. I'm also going to invest in a snooze shade, is it called, I think, um, as well for like the hotter weather just to try and protect it as much as possible. But yeah, I had one of these, I think I've still got it somewhere. I used to have one in my room and then I donated it for tricks for when she's really hot. And yeah, they are quite pretty good for battery fans. And then I picked up my favourite Colgate Pro Gum toothpaste it's been chewed by the look of it um but i did check inside and it was all right and then the last few bits are for the caravan as i say we are picking up this weekend so i picked up some dove hand wash i actually just went for this one because it's got a thin bottle a thin bottom and i thought it might fit behind the sink a bit better then we've got this is ash's toothpaste usually um but i picked up one for the caravan and we can just share it 
and then he's got a new toothbrush for the caravan as well i've already got a spare one so i can send that down there and then last but not least just some kitchen roll is the only other thing that i bought so yeah that is everything i don't think that's too bad considering we pretty much got roughly similar amount of items last week when we were on holiday and that came to like 80 something pound i don't think that was too bad i've got oh oh i've got stuff to make lunches i've got a few cleaning bits and some of it will last next week the week after and what have you so i don't think it was too bad for a little top up shop um but i need to pack this all away now so thank you so much for watching please remember to like and subscribe and let me know if you want me to do more of this type of video especially when i do like a full week of meals maybe um yeah or if you want to see the kind of things that we eat on a weekly basis or anything like that then let me know i'm always open to new ideas for this channel um but yeah i will see you all again soon bye